think no one has ever seen this kind of concentration of uh, an artist's, I think, extremely interesting radical work uh, between just seven years, 67 to 73, which is also one of the most interesting periods in post-war art, you know, uh, anywhere. Sam is kind of uh, a part of the beginning of thinking about a world of art without disciplines. If you study art, a teacher can be very fixed. Your paper has to be up this way and the line drawn across that way. You can't go up this side. You can't come up the top. You have to always use that baseline, which is earth, so your figures stand up this way. Now, what if you turn the paper this way, then you change? Or if you ball it up, you have different edges. I mean, it, it becomes sculpture. Or if you fold it, it's dried it and it has stripes and moves across. So that's me. This is the first survey of Sam's early career anywhere, and it is his first solo museum exhibition in Europe. The work in this exhibition comes from the very beginning, when he arrived at his first signature style, which is the draped painting. Um, the draped paintings happen simultaneously with beveled edge paintings. These are, these are, these are paintings that are stretched around uh, stretchers, wooden stretchers that have diagonal or chamfered shaped edges. I think Gilliam has um, historically very underestimated or under-recognized um, position. If you're a boxer and you knock the other guy out, you're important. So that the, the kind of controversy sometimes can be the most important thing, the objection to someone. 